Julie ji so what you see right behind me is Thikse Monastery and that says that I am in Thikse village uh, this home right here this is my friend's place I am here and I came from Leh just right now it's super cold on the bike my hands are freezing because it's at least minus 10 degrees celsius yes it's sunlight everything looks nice in the frame but in reality it's a very cold why am i here because there's an amazing dance festival happening over here at thiksa monastery so i'm going to head up there to experience the festival let's get going Neither do I feel that I'm alive. <laughs> Shit, ah, running out of breath because climbing over here is so damn difficult. But let's keep going. As you can see, I'm not in Ladakh anymore. Yes, I came down to cities because I had some work. And that day when I was in the monastery shooting this whole festival, everyone was in so much rush that I didn't get a chance to speak to Alama and get all the details about the event to share with you. But today, I got on a call with Tashi Lama from Thiksi Monastery and here are all the details for the festival. Okay, so I've got good details after speaking with Lama Ji, but I can't memorize everything. Hence, I've got notes to help me share with you. First thing, what is the name of the festival? It's called Thikse Gustor Festival, wherein the word Gustor means sacrifice, and the dance they do it's called Cham dance. Also, it's not a festival; it's a practice which has been going on from the times of Buddha. If you remember, I have been to these kind of two-day festivals or events. I should be calling them in Stoke Monastery. Mato Monastery and Hemis Monastery. They all have a little different style of doing it. The dance is a little different. The music is a little different. The masks are different, and even the process of doing the whole event is a little different for each monastery. Now, the celebration starts with the morning prayer rituals under which a liquid is offered to the divine god. It is believed that the god comes to earth to witness. the mask dance the leader of the black hat dancer distribute the sacrificial cake making the end of the festival and recalling the victory of good over bad and in between all of these dance when i saw it for the first time i was really shocked because i was not sure what's happening and it was like quite dark but hear me out and reenactment of the assassination of the traitor king lang dharma of tibet in the 19th century by a buddhist monk is performed which particularly symbolize the banishment of the enemies from the entire land it was really touching like when i saw it it was scary but now knowing the entire history behind it feels so good now let's go and enjoy the event
Four. I started what ten thirty ish. It's four. Non-stop, one after another, one after another. Dance. I was shooting it, and I didn't eat anything. No breakfast, no lunch, no nothing. I'm super tired with this bag on my shoulder. I'm heading to Thikse village because I'm super hungry. I really want to eat something now. Let's get going. Done with the day, and I have left Nawaz Bhai's bike at his place. That was not my bike, and now he's dropping me in his car back to Le, the place where I'm staying. And I've already ate something so that my I won't die out of hunger. But I'm really looking forward to eating more. But that's all for the day. Um, I hope you enjoy the vlog. Don't forget to subscribe for the next vlog. Chile.